Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Star Flames. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification bell and join the family. In this video guys, we're going to talk about Tiana Taylor and Iman Shumpert's divorce proceeding because according to new reports, Iman Shumpert is telling the judge that his estranged wife, Tiana Taylor, makes twice the amount that he makes and as such, he's willing to fork out $8,000 monthly for both kids and he's also willing to pay major medical. Now, he's saying that he earns 40 something thousand dollars monthly. Tiana Taylor earns almost twice that amount, which is $92 and change monthly. So he's saying that because Tiana Taylor's salary is almost twice his, that's all he can do. And he thinks that that is fair. So let's get into this report that is coming out from TMZ. TMZ is saying that Tiana Taylor is earning nearly double what Iman Shumpert makes every month. At least that's what he's telling the judge overseeing their divorce. In new court documents obtained by TMZ, Iman breaks down the estranged couple's finances and he says there's a big pay gap. According to Iman's accounting, Tiana's gross monthly income before taxes is $93,885, nearly double the $47,981 he brings home every month. The alleged pay gap here is interesting. Remember when Tiana Taylor quietly filed for divorce, she claimed Iman was insecure and jealous of her fame despite earning way more in NBA money than she could ever dream of making in music. Iman earned over $48 million in NBA contracts during his career, but he has also played pro ball since, but he hasn't played pro ball since 2021 season when he played two games with the Brooklyn Nets. Iman's bringing up their earnings as they hammer out child support. They have two minor children and he says he's comfortably shelling out $8,000 a month for them. So he's basically saying that that amount is comfortable with it. In the doc, Iman also says he'll pay health insurance for major medical expenses, but he wants to split the cost of the kids' other health services. Iman and Tiana have been fighting over money during their divorce. She claims he left her holding the bag on 200k worth of home renovations he started three years ago and alleges Iman withdraw nearly four million dollars from several shared accounts. Now guys, I definitely think that Iman is playing hardball here because if she is making $93,000 before tax, right? What about after taxes? What, what if she has to pay someone out of that like a assistance you know because sometimes we have people who really don't like to be on the books but i also think that eight thousand dollars might be pretty decent but what about school fee and all the other stuff that you know the kids have to that has to be paid for the kids while he's looking at tiana's earnings and saying that her earnings exceeds his he's not also looking into the fact that you know She's in the entertainment industry, which means that hair, makeup, and there's so many other things that she has to, you know, take care of monthly out of her pocket in order to maintain this lifestyle that she has and to get further deals and all of that because image is a huge part of Hollywood. So I think that the court needs to really get involved in this. Let's, you know, see if there's any additional expenses that Tiana Taylor has to cushion as it relates to her personal expenses because as he's saying, her salary is almost twice his, but that's before tax. After tax, what does her salary look like? And again, what about her personal expenses? So I think that even though it may, you know, sounds as though, yes, what Iman is saying, it sounds fair. We have to take into consideration what if Tiana Taylor has to pay someone out of that money? Again, not just that. Let's say she doesn't have to pay anyone out of that. What about here? What about makeup? Those things can be very, very costly. So I think, again, definitely the court needs to get the details in terms of both parties' finance and make a decision on how much Iman 
should pay monthly for child for child support and if they're going to divide everything else equally i think that's the way to go about it but i want to hear from you guys what are your thoughts while you're at it give this video a big thumbs up share if you care and see you guys later bye guys